So you're a freelance software developer now, and you're trying to figure out how much should you charge hourly. One thing, the difference between a, a employee and a freelancer is that an employee gets half the taxes cut out. They get benefits such as health care, they get sick days, vacation. If you work in an office, you get a free computer, um, a desk, a chair, all that, and they they supply the, all of that. So in reality, if you make 70 grand, you 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 really make like 150 grand, pretty much because you um, you get the the health care, you get the free vacation time, the sick time, you get everything. You get a lot more money out of that. So I would say that as a freelancer, you should be aiming for 1.5 to two times more than what you make at a full-time job and employee and I say that because you don't get the two weeks of vacation um, every time that you take off for vacation or every time you get sick you don't get paid for that so um, you need to you need to offset that by making more money also finding clients um, you may do one project at a time and then you may have no projects for a week or two, maybe even a month. And that's no money in the bank. You have, you have to prepare for that. You have expenses such as computer, monitor, um, a keyboard, mouse. You have your chair, your desk. You may think that um, those things don't cost a lot of money, but they, they actually do when you use them 24-7 for your job they come very important if something goes wrong you have to buy quality equipment you can't just buy you know a three hundred dollar laptop and, and get by because it's gonna be slow it's gonna reduce your productivity you have to buy something that's gonna boost your uh, your productivity so you have to buy something that's well built and that's um, very good quality that doesn't break so you have more expenses you ha you don't have any benefits really you just get paid an hourly rate and that's pretty much it you have to pay for your electric if you're remotely you have to pay for all of these things you have to pay for pretty much everything of what an employer would pay and that's why I say shoot for 1.5 to 2 times your hourly rates as a full-time employee